Hello friends, welcome back to Unique English Easy Way YouTube channel. My name is P.S. Shinde. How to identify nouns? We all know that a noun is the name of a place, person, or thing. Surprisingly, it is not that easy to identify a noun from a given sentence because the form of a noun is not always equal to its function. Everything depends upon certain clues which help us to identify nouns. Let us examine the following sentences. The ride is entertaining. Here, the verb is be. The description is about the ride, and the ride here is a noun. Note the same word performing the function of a verb in I ride a bicycle. The form of the word ride is the same in both sentences. Even then, the function differs. Why does this happen so? It's because the form of a noun is not always equal to its function. Two more examples, trees grow in rich soil. Trees don't grow in poor soil. Not all the rich are always happy. We should try to uplift the poor. Here also, the words rich and poor are doing both the activities. They are nouns as well as adjectives. Often, we have seen that sentence structures provide clues to identify nouns. Let us see how. I need some sleep. I sleep all day. The harm made him handicapped. He didn't harm himself. In the first sentence, sleep is functioning as a noun. Besides, it has a determiner. Determiners come before nouns and adjectives only. In the latter sentence, sleep occurs after the subject pronoun I. Its placement occurs where we usually expect a verb in that place. Thus, such structural clues help us to identify nouns in sentences. There are words with derivational endings that provide clues to identify nouns. For example, the suffix ita signals many nouns as in Israelite, suburbanite, favorite, graphite, etc. The suffix ness signals nouns such as carelessness, tastelessness, lifelessness, etc. The suffix ment generally signals nouns as in appointment, contentment, nourishment, etc. Morphological clues also help us in identifying nouns. There are two clues we can visualize in the inflectional endings of many words in English. They are plural s as in girls, trees, pencils, etc. Possessives as in rajus, womans, etc. Please note, not all plurals have s inflection, and not all words make their possessive case by adding s inflection. However, we shouldn't overlook the importance of such morphological clues in identifying nouns. Many prototypical words in English carry the core semantic properties. For example, the word snake, for most people, conjures up an image of a creature with a long slender body without any limbs. Similarly, many other words provide semantic clues in identifying the names given to such nouns. So friends, let us summarize what we have seen today. Certainly, one of these tricks would aid us in identifying the nouns concealed within sentences. Finally, they are here on the screen once again. The form and function words. Semantic clues of the words. Structural clues of the words. Morphological clues of the words. Derivational clues of the words. Did you like this video? Place your valuable comments in the comment section. Please share this video with interested learners. Do subscribe to our channel to receive new videos on similar topics. Namaste.